Starmer out trended quicker than you can say Jeremy Corbyn's an anti-Semite. The box fresh, brill creamed leader is too Blairite, too Tory, too much like the latest villain in EastEnders. <laughs> so what is going on? Steer Karma was sold on navigating HMS Labour through the rough seas of unpatriotic, anti-capitalist, anti-Semitic icebergs. Well, the British people have made their decision. We must respect that result. Looking like a centrist dad in his slippers, tiptoeing around anything that feels near controversial. Now is not the time. Now is not the time. Now is not the time. Whatever measure the government takes, we will support it. Oh. Oh. It's confusing me now. I thought he was Labour. God, man, if this was a drinking game and you drank every time you said, I support the government, you'd be, like, passed out by now, wouldn't you? But by supporting blowhard bell tents, hard Brexit government's pandemic response, the unity candidate has paradoxically managed to claw back Labour's poll ratings whilst offering no radical opposition that the radical members that elected him expected. Keir stood in solidarity with workers and trade unions. I was delighted when I saw Keir become a Labour MP in 2015 and so proud of the way he battled alongside Jeremy Corbyn against Tory Brexit and the Tories' plans to sell off the NHS. We can rebuild our economic model in place of the failed free market one. Now, forensic Starmer's not going to be playing any air guitar at rallies. He's certainly not going to have Stormzy singing his name in 2022. Um. But oh, Jeremy Corbyn is still a Labour MP. It's not about me. It's not about any individual on this platform. It's not a presidential election. So is Stop Starmer just the pram rattle of those that wanted a pound shop Che Guevara to storm Parliament in a pacifist jam-making revolution? Is Zippy in a courtroom suit courting donors just too off-brand for idealistic Marxists? Now is not the time. Is his seduction of the over 65s with his prime ministerial cutout style spanking Boris's bottom over the dispatch box like some primetime legal drama, just too compromised, too cliched. It's changed for the better, for sure, in my view, because it's got a serious leadership that's already making an impact because they're showing competence, you know, forensic skill. Love it or loathe it, first past the post means that you need a powerful ruse, a seriously good tactic if you're going to beat the gerrymandered electoral system. They call it first past the post. You live in a constituency, kind of like an area code. Over 650 of these various zones up and down the country designed to compartmentalize votes. It seems to me that Smear Karma is playing the game. Playing the game in a way that Corbyn either couldn't or simply refused to do. And with the election four long years away, isn't it about time that Labour Party played some chess rather than tiddlywinks? Only takes a third of the population to give a party the majority they need to win. Even if more people in total across the UK. K, i.e. the rule majority vote against them getting in. Now, maybe, just maybe, now is not the time for tiddlywinks. Who do you want to be your successor? Will you endorse a candidate? Are you in denial about your election defeat? The Brexit battle is over. Get over it. We lost. And dealing with anti-Semitism is done. It was Goebbels like real. I've seen it. Don't at me. And patriotic flag waving is in. Go on, wave the flag, save the union. <laughs> No, not that union, the other one. I know you want to ban our national flags, but we're going to wave you goodbye. And if the Stop Starmers are angry, then ask them why in the name of Cordroy Corbyn they decided to give Joe Swansong her swan song and call a f general election. An election that was always going to be about Brexit. The maths is difficult for the Labour Party because two thirds of our MPs are in leave seats and one third are in remain seats. An election that handed Labour its arse. This is obviously a very disappointing night. I actually don't think I ever expected it to be this bad. However you look at it, a Labour government under Keir would surely be substantively different to this clown convention that Boris runs. And for the first time since the Prince of Darkness Alistair Campbell rode in on his black horse, Labour have a savvy media strategy. They're playing the game, just like the self-servatives do. A crisis calls for competence. And in the era of COVID-19, Keir Starmer's big achievement has been pinning the PM down on detail. It might not be a revolution, but we'll be here to keep the Knights Crusade in check. People are frightened.
by the strangeness. Yeah.